Hello, and thank you for joining us for the sixth part of the Work Study Primer series. This topic is on hiring students. Once you've selected candidates, how to actually hire them into the system. Uh, this video takes into assumption that you've already seen the previous sections on creating positions, selection, interview, and are now ready for the hiring process. The hiring process begins by extending a job offer to the student. As a best practice, we recommend calling the student to ensure that they are interested in the position and then following up with a written offer. The written offer should include the items listed on the screen in front of you and should also request a written confirmation from the student. If you need assistance in completing the written offer, you can use the hiring letter template on the Supervisor Resources site in JobX. Directions to this site will be voiced in the next few slides or you can simply Google UNC Work Study and select the middle link in the page for Work Study Supervisor. As a second point, once you have a reply, you'll need to officially update JobX to hire the student. Then, if this hiring fills your last vacancy, you'll need to release all other candidates for the position. Please note, students hired through the Connect Carolina system who have not been hired in JobX are not eligible for work-study wages through the Federal Work-Study Program. Any wages to students hired through Connect Carolina but not JobX will be retroactively charged to the department who assisted in the hire and that department may be removed from the work-study program if issues persist. To begin hiring the student in JobX, you'll need to navigate to the URL above or simply Google UNC Work Study to be taken to this page. Once here, you'll want to click on the Work Study Supervisor link in the middle of the page. On this page, you'll navigate to your Job Management screen by clicking the Job Management login link on the far right top. This will prompt you for a verification setup in which you'll sign in with your onion and password. Once you've been verified and entered into the system, you'll move to your job management screen. Once you've reached this point, you'll need to select your department from the drop down list on the left in order to view applications and applicant data. Selecting your department will bring up this information. To review applicant information, simply click on the applicant link under the app number column. Clicking on the applicant link will move you to the review applications page, which can be divided into three sections, the filter section, the act section, and the view data section. Today we'll be concentrating mostly on the view data section. To hire a candidate in JobX, you'll begin by clicking the hire column on the right for the candidate that you're interested in bringing into the position. This will bring up the first of the three-part hire student series. On this page, you'll find several pieces of useful information, including the name of the position, the number of remaining openings, an instructional link for help on completing the process, the names of students who have already been hired into the position. At this point, you'll click on the name or names of the applicants you would like to hire, and then click the Go to Step 2 button. Please do not enter the candidate name into the Hire Candidates Who Did Not Apply Online functionality. This functionality has been disabled due to security reasons. You will then be moved to the hiring verification step in the process. You'll see the student's name and PID in front of you, and will need to click the Check Student button in order to verify that the student is still eligible for a Work Study Award. Results will be one of two items, either a red X indicating that the student's name and PID do not match the roster of eligible students, or a green check mark indicating that the student's name and PID do match. If you find that your student's name and PID do not match and come up with the red X, please email work-study at unc.edu for additional assistance in determining the reason why. In most cases, the student has simply altered their name or PID and are unable to be validated based on the current roster. Once you have finished, please click the continue button at the bottom of the screen to progress to stage three. Please note, once you've clicked this button, a 10 minute timer begins to finish the process. At the end of that 10 minutes, any unsaved data will be edited out of the system and you will be unable to generate the hiring e confirmation email needed by most HR officers and Shared Services Center to complete the hiring in Connect Carolina. The third step in the hire student process is to fill out the hire information. You'll note that several fields at the beginning of this screen are already populated for you, including the student's name, PID, and email. You will be responsible for the fields in the middle. These include the student wages, which you can select from within the job tier. Please note, if you need resources in determining the appropriate wage rate for your student, you can use the Wage Level Determination Guide and Wage Determination Form on the Supervisor Resources site. If you select a wage rate outside of the approved tier, the system will not proceed with the hiring. You'll also need to input the hours per week, 
the estimated start date and end date, though these should be pre-populated for you and should not need to be altered, and whether the student is being hired or rehired to the position. You'll also want to take note of the student's award and remaining award amount located at the bottom of the screen before clicking the Submit Request button to move on to the final step in the process. The final step in the process, generating the Hire Approval Details email, is optional from the purposes of the JobEx system. However, most HR officers and shared services centers at UNC require the information contained in this email in order to hire the student into the Connect Carolina Center and set the student up with the proper TIM access. The information needed is contained in the green box in the middle of your screen and includes the hourly rate, the award amount, and the WS program of hire, whether work study or Connect Carolina, as per previous year supervisor request. Other information includes the funding source string, the PID of the student, and their name. This information has to be sent to your HR officer or shared services center in order for them to complete the process, and you as the supervisor must do so if you choose not to utilize this email format. To begin the process, you'll select the recipient or recipients of this email. In most cases, you would use the both button to send a copy to yourself and to the student. Please note that a carbon copy will also be sent to the work-study at unc.edu account for retention. You'll then want to place the email of your HR officer or shared services center into this box before clicking the email hire approval box. Please do not click the continue without email hire approval as this is a one-time process and this email cannot be generated after this step unless the student is terminated from the position, resubmits an application, and is rehired. If the candidate you've hired fills the last vacancy for the position, you will now need to release all other applicants from the process. All applicants must receive a response, including those not hired into the position, in order to remain in compliance with program rules. To complete this process, do not select the delete option on the right side of the screen. Doing so will only remove the application and will not send any confirmation to the student of their status. Instead, utilize the action bar at the top of the screen by checking the boxes next to the student or students with whom you would like to communicate and then clicking the reject applicants button. Doing so will open up an email communication within JobEx in which the subject title and body of the email are pre-populated for your convenience. Please feel free to alter these if you would like, but at the end of your generation period, please select the Send button so that the JobX system will notify these students that they are not selected for the position. This concludes the hiring training video. If you would like to see other videos in this series, please navigate to the URL in front of you or simply Google UNC Work Study and select the Work Study Supervisor link in the middle of the page. If you have questions about this training or anything else to do with the work-study programs, please email Josh Leonard and Thomas Harper, the work-study program staff, at work-study at unc.edu. Thank you, and have a great day.